In our last post, we went over some common reasons that caregivers experience burnout. So today we're gonna to be talking about how to prevent some of those reasons. Too often we get in the mode of just powering through it and thinking, I can just do it myself. It's just easier if I do it myself. With so many people to organize and communicate with, finding ways to communicate with one another can be challenging. For some of you, a group text might be a great way. For me personally, I find it creates a little bit more anxiety than necessary. I don't really wanna hear people chiming in all day long. I just want the end result. So find what works best for you. And at Devoted Daughter, we've created a downloadable master task list that will help you easily identify what needs to be done and who you can assign these tasks to. Setting clear boundaries is really important. When I was caregiving for my mom, so many times she would say, honey, can't you just stay like an extra hour? Or why don't you have dinner with me? And I was exhausted and I was thinking, geez, mom, I really, I've got to drive home in traffic. I need to, I really just wanted to get home. And there's guilt that kind of creeps in with that as well. So setting those boundaries, not only for your the person you're caring for, but also for yourself will help eliminate some of that guilt and consequently burnout. Caregiving is so personal and I know for me a lot of times I didn't really want to talk about what was going on and how I was spending my day, but you might want to consider finding a support group or even just finding a dear friend or someone that you can confide in maybe an accountability partner, someone who won't give up on you. There's so many things you can't control when you're trying to care for someone else. I couldn't fix what was wrong with my mom physically. And it was so hard. It was heart-wrenching at times to see her screaming in pain and just knowing that I, I couldn't change it. I could be there, I could advocate, I could hold her hand, but I couldn't make her body heal. And it was awful. So I urge you to not focus on the things that you can't control, but focus on places where you can make a difference. Find joy in the day, even when it seems like the darkest day. Check us out at The Devoted Daughter and let us know your thoughts below.